Yes, welcome to Australia. This is what we do right, right at the beginning of summer. We just play under our cars, you know, playing with Redback Spider. Welcome to the underneath of my Toyota vehicle. Uh, there is a Redback Spider living underneath the rear suspension area here. Uh, the nest is right near this arm here, which goes out to the shock absorber. I'm going to try and capture this Redback Spider alive, but let's take a look at what she's been up to. Warning. The warning on this spider video has been removed. I believe the redback spider up there is a mature female. It's got all the characteristics of being a mature one because of the scale of the web network. And if I pull the camera down like this, you'll see the web and everything going down to the ground. And I can also see something on the ground there that she has been feeding on. This spider's web network's footprint is actually quite extensive. There's drop down lines coming all through this area here. So any little bugs and critters that traverse this area at night uh, would be sensed by her. She'd come down, nab them and take them up there to eat and then she dumps the little carcass down like we saw with that poor black beetle. Next thing I'm going to do is just clear out this web network because I'm going to need to work under here and hopefully not have the spider drop in my face. I dare say she's going to start to be alarmed that there's something going on. The web network also comes across to the wheel here and if I get rid of the web that gives her less chance of escaping because she may want to dart up a web as I'm trying to catch her. Okay, next I'm going to use my iPhone and we're going to have a very, very careful look up in this area here. The iPhone will see better in there than the camera that I've got in my hand. Okay, that there's the redback spider's lair. Uh, the more mature ones make lairs like that. The other time I looked up there, I could see her red back and I'll have to look very carefully on the screen to really see what's going on there. I'll try and look in all directions here because they are sort of the spider that will get into any little nooks and crannies. Okay, just having a very, very careful look around there. Yeah, so she's not really sticking out of me that well, which is starting to scare me a bit. Maybe if I start to um, manipulate the area in there, she might appear for me. What I'll do is I've actually got another light here, and if I bring a light in on the other side of her lair, maybe her silhouette will start to show, and I do believe that is her silhouette there. Okay, just looking back on the screen, yes, the spider is there. I'm just pointing out the shape of the spider. The legs go in this direction. It is quite a large spider. There's other things there, are things that she's captured to eat. Okay, I know where she is. The next thing I'll do is I'll get rid of more of her lair here. This web is very, very uh, intense in the way it has been spun up. It's very, very strong. I've got to put a fair bit of effort to get rid of this. And if I get rid of this web here, like I said, it's going to give me the advantage here because this is what she'll use to stop me from getting her. Okay, I'll just clean that out and uh, we'll talk about the things that I've got here to try and get her out safely. Okay, I've got some uh, tools here which are going to hopefully help me. I'm going to try and drop the spider into this tub here and trying to capture it alive. Don't ask me why. Maybe I can put it into the spider tank. Uh, I'm thinking of, uh, well, this monkey tool here, maybe uh, mum's old brush for catching spiders, maybe, but I'm more thinking it's a cable tie sort of job. I'm going to tease a cable tie up there, uh, razzle the spider. It's going to want to try and hide from me in recluse, but I'm hoping if I razz it enough, it's going to drop into this here. Now, if it all goes pear-shaped, and it probably will, I've got my flames here, and most importantly, I've got some really, really good... Uh, spider killer. This is the top shelf stuff. I've used this stuff before. It knocks them out really fast But I'm going to try and get this spider Alive Before I do this I'm going to put this tarp right under the car So if the spider misses the tarp at least I can see it better on the tarp here I've got my tarp under the car. I've got the tub underneath the area where the redback spider is residing And I've got my bug spray there in case things go pear-shaped. I've also got my little tools. Okay, let's do it it was about a year ago, actually, when I had the uh, Redback Spider under this car. It might have been exactly a year ago, up the front of the car, living in the subframe. That thing was a giant, very, very stealthy uh, Redback. In fact, there's a lot of web there. Her web network is still in there. And I'm just trying to get this... Oh, crikey, that web is strong. Look at it there. I'm just trying to penetrate that bit of um, cable tie. And she is going to not want to know about me, okay? So she's going to do her best to steer clear, but I'm hoping... Oh, okay, I, I can see that she's moved to the other side. I can see her. Oh, yeah, she's a beauty, actually. Let me just get tighter on the camera. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of web there, and she's going to know that someone is after her, and I'm hoping that she's going to drop down. And uh, they tend to be more scared of you 
than you are of them. And I mean, I wouldn't do this. <laughs> I'm like, there she is. You can see her. Oh yeah, baby, she's a stunner. Oh man, I love her. I'm hoping I'm at an advantage here because she no longer has a web network, okay? Well, that's the theory. And I'm just going to try and tickle her to go the way I want her to go. I'm trying to be the boss here. Look at her there. She's feeling out for what used to be there. It's no longer there, dearie. I want you to drop. Okay, so there's a little bit of web there. Yes, welcome to Australia. This is what we do right, right at the beginning of summer. We just play under our cars. You know, plane of redback spiders. Oh, she's traversing across there. I don't want her to do that. I want her to drop. Man, there's still a lot of web there. Oh, the web is her friend, isn't it, hey? Mm. I'm just coming with this tool here to get rid of the web which is there. Okay, because she is using that to her advantage and that's what she knows to get around on. She's safe on web. Where there's no web, I've got at least a bit of an advantage. Maybe I can get onto these tweezers here. Well, now she wants to bite them. Fancy that. Maybe I can give it a flick from there. Oh, nearly. Got her down, yes. That wasn't too difficult, but I'm telling you, uh, do not try this unless you know exactly what you're up against and how to deal with it. She's in there. Whoa, what a stunner. I can tell you a couple of things about that one. That is uh, quite pregnant. There was no egg sacs up in her area there. And uh, that was good news because I've got her before she had her nest set up completely. And now she's going to probably climb these twelve. Oh, she's biting the tweezers. She's biting the tweezers. Am I surprised? No. Well, that's what, you know, she's just had a home wrecked, hasn't she? And don't you worry, I've, uh, I've got another nice little home for her with lots of her little friends that she's going to love to play with. Yes, I just got her in the nick of time before things started to get really, really messy. Let me get a lid onto this tub. And I don't think it's a spider that escaped from me when I cleaned my neighbor's bins. I think it's a little bit too big. Okay, I'm in my garage, obviously. That is the spider convalescence tank. That represents roughly week 11. I do a big video study of week 10, so I don't really want to get too caught up in this, although there is something strange happening in here. Uh, it's The time I'm shooting this video is actually very, very early December. So Santa's like, uh, well, basically three weeks away, if that makes any sense. As for when it's uploaded, who knows? I'm having lots of troubles on YouTube, but hey, that seems to be the norm these days. Yeah, so I've actually lost the big alpha a female spider. Is actually that white clump there. Yeah, so we might pull that out and take a look at what's gone on. There's lots of spiderlings in here. I mean, lots of spiderlings. Uh, because the egg sacs have been opening up. And also, I've helped an egg sac to open up. Because, well, we lost our big mother. And what I've got to do next is to get this beautiful female from there into there. And i got to get this done before those little red back spidlings there understand the lid is off. The part that's got me a bit perplexed, and maybe someone can answer this, is how did this spider, and this is a mature red back spider, how did she get under the car when I keep a very close vigil on what's going on? She's sort of playing a little bit dead. They will ball up sometimes. But don't ever think the spider has no life in it because you only need to touch them a bit and they come to life and they'll be, you know, wanting to bite something. Yeah, she is an absolute stunner, isn't she? The thing you need to be careful about these spiders and lots of spiders is when you try to move them, they will often be dragging some web behind them. And she would have set up a little web network in the bottom of this plastic tub here, I'm sure of it. And I'll just get her into a corner. Look at her hanging on web now. She's a trickster, isn't she? Hey, I'll just get her to roll into the spider tank here, nice and gently. Whoa, she, she did roll. She was on a roll, wasn't she? Uh, yes, yeah, she's hanging in web there and hopefully not attached to this. And I'll take that away and I'm just keeping an eye on the spider, making sure she's not following the tub. And I'll just point out something here. That other spider just above her, uh, that's that uh, grey widow spider. I call it a cement spider because it looks like the colour of cement. It's been a survivor in this tank, I can tell you. I'm not sure if I caught that, but it just gave that red back spider the flick. Yeah, so very, very interesting spider, that one. I've got to start acting faster. These spiderlings are waking up and they're starting to get out. Let me pull out a couple of things here I want to show you, which are quite curious. Okay, example number one, coming out. Okay, this here is example number two. Ooh, ugh. 
I mean, look at those spidlings. They are really, really waking up. Get down, boys and girls. Get down. I don't want you escaping yet. Or ever, should I say. There's no yet in this tank. That was like waking the zombie apocalypse by doing that. And I better get this lid on really, really fast. Whoa! Okay, there's something going on in the spider tank and we'll take a look at what's going on here nice and close and I've got some tools to help me. Okay, this spider here, uh, it basically just died in a tank and then it hung in a web and I never saw a spider feed from it but what I'm noticing now is there's some strange fungus growing on it. Okay, and there's all... <laughs> it's all... well, it's been dead for a couple of weeks now but I never saw this spider being fed upon so it made me very, very curious what was going on here and I don't like the look of the fungus and that spider is falling apart as well. Uh, I call them stick spiders, I think those are net casting type spider, there's another name for them as well but I can't remember right now but very strange what's going on there. This one's a little bit more complicated, there's two spiders here, uh, that's a just a garden orb spider, I was putting all sorts of things in the spider tank, especially as, as food, there's, there was a ton of ants put in there as well. And the other one is the, or was the largest redback spider in the tank, the biggest female. I believe it was killed by another spider, but then it was never fed from. And then it's got this, um, this web and also type fungus going on around it, if that makes any sense. It's very unusual. It's been dead for a little while now. Um, as for what is going on here and as for why it was never fed from, very, very strange. Um, it's just things that I don't understand. I'm just going to separate these two away from each other there. And with uh, the red back here, and I think there's part of the other spider attached to it, I'm just going to see what's going on if I start to just get a bit of a clearer look here. Although we're probably not going to learn very much at all because I'm not very good at doing this. But um, I'm very, very curious of why this spider had the fate that it had. That's just really all... No, it's not telling me much at all, but looking inside there. No, you wouldn't know what that is. I can tell you one thing, it used to be the, the big female redback spider, but that's um, sadly what it's turned into. So there's some sort of other killer going on in the tank here, and it's not necessarily um, the big nasty spiders. I'm hoping someone can help me out uh, with what I've just shown there. Maybe by looking inside the tank there will give us some clues to that quite crazy fungus. I put the fruit in there to feed the other critters and bugs in the tank here. There's stacks of other critters. There's a whole stack of ants as well. The ants have basically done nothing. They've gone to ground and built an ant farm underneath the spider haven. But seeing the mold on the fruit seemed to be the trigger point for the mold to be on many other things in the tank. And maybe that was a big mistake in doing this. That grey widow spider, I hope it is a grey widow, is a very curious spider because it seems to have meshed into the redback spider's environment. Notice it's still alive. It's also woven its own egg sac in there as well. In fact, it looks like the Grey Widow is uh, feeding on something right now. Can't quite tell what it is. I also notice um, a Spidling feeding frenzy there. Again, I can't exactly tell what's going on there. And again, it's very spiderific. As for the beautiful female I captured from under my car, there she is there. Uh, she'll soon work out this is no longer the luxurious Toyota vehicle she was under before. And she's going to have to do some major life adjustments to survive in this spider nursing home. It's the sort of environment you either adjust or you die. And by the look over there, I'd say she's starting to adjust to this environment really fast. Maybe she can play mum to the egg sacs that the other large alpha female left behind. I'm sure she's quite capable of that. My saying about the spider tank is if you can survive in there, you can basically survive anywhere. Boy oh boy, I hope we learn something in this video. Or else I'm in a stack of trouble like I always am. And let's hope uh, Alpha, Female, Redback Spider there, the new one, can live long and prosper.